All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Five Minute Fridays. Today, we've got a drill for you that's going to help us stop chunking the ball. So if you're having issues where you're taking massive fillets, but very little ball, this is going to be definitely the drill for you. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so for this drill, all we're going to need is a towel and a golf club. All you want to do is you're going to get a golf ball set up. So we have our golf ball set up back here. Now, we are upstairs today, so I've got the barrier in the way, so I'm trying to make it so you can see nice and clear. And it is a bit windy. All right, so when you set this drill up, we want to have that towel probably about two club heads behind the ball. Now, the reason why we're going to be setting it up like this is, the number one reason why we chunk the golf ball is generally we'll have the swing where we're trying to help that ball in the air and scoop it up in the air. Now, the golf swing being what it is, is if we keep our weight back and try and scoop the ball up in the air, all that's gonna to lead to us doing is bottoming out before the ball. That's where we get that fillet taken and we get really, really poor contact. So what this does is it actually provides a little barrier for you. So when you're hitting your shots, your main focus is now, instead of trying to hit the ball and trying to get the ball up in the air, your main focus is avoid that tower. And you'll be surprised. A lot of the time when people think, oh wait, this is really far behind the ball, I'm not gonna do this. And then they'll take their first couple of swings and start hitting the back of the, or the top of the, uh, the towel then you start to realize just how far behind the ball you are to be able to chunk it like that. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up here. My main focus is gonna to be to avoid that towel. One, two, set it up again, go again. Now you can do this drill with something like a lie board as well. I actually do that a lot. We'll get it in behind there. The lie boards are great because they don't damage the club. They will make a nice loud noise for you though so you can't hide from it where sometimes if you do it with a towel, you can kind of be in a bit of denial when you hit it. But the main thing is if you can keep doing this and get to the point where you feel like you can do it without hitting the towel, that's when we transition, get the ball over on the mat with no towel there, and your main focus, let's try and hit that ball. You're gonna imagine that towel's still there and we're gonna try and miss it. Really nice. So guys, if you're really struggling with this drill, when you get it set up, we're gonna start by trying to take half to three quarter swings. Get in there, try and take that half to three quarter swing. Nice. Again, we're just trying to miss that towel. One, two, half to three quarter swing. All right, once you get that a couple of times, set it up and we'll go for the full swing. Now, if you clip it on the way back, it's not the worst thing just because towels are very hard to get perfectly flat on the mat, but it's on the way down we're looking for. We don't wanna be hitting that on the way down. Once you feel comfortable, get it set up. You're gonna imagine that towel still there. Hopefully hit some shots just like that. Really nice. All right guys, I hope that helped you out a little bit, gave you an idea on uh, something you can do to try and avoid taking that nasty fillet before the ball. Now remember, just because this is a good drill that helps you avoid chunking it, there are different reasons for doing so. So if you're really struggling and this doesn't help, best thing you can do, go see your local PGA professional, book yourself a lesson. They're gonna be able to tailor it to your own golf swing and help fix whatever's causing those chunks. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week.